Good morning ladies, and today I am going to take you along with me on a day in my life as an influencer. As always, thank you so much for being a subscriber if you're new to the channel. Hi, my name is Shante. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much. If you haven't heard, I do have a membership program where everything I make does go to a charity. So to learn more about it, I actually linked the video down below as well as over here on the right hand corner in the suggested box. And last but not least, don't forget to turn your notification on so you'll be notified when a new video is out. Make sure you do select all notification. Back to today's video. As you know, I am a dinosaur. I've been a part of YouTube when they first got started. And before I became a vlogger and a lifestyle guru, I was a hair guru, a dance guru, workout guru, makeup guru, fashion guru. And if you were here since day one, I love you. Due to COVID, a lot of us are locked in and for good reason. Let's stop this virus together by doing our part. With more time on my hand, I started doing live show again, mainly on Instagram. For those who aren't on Instagram, join and follow me. I'll shamelessly link my link on this video. So follow me and join me on my daily live streams. Today, I am showing my viewer via live stream how I take my photos by myself. It's been so long since I had a photo shoot, so even I am nervous about how it would turn out. But the positive part is, I'll be taking you along with me. You get to see the interaction, process, as well as how the stream turned out. So the day got started, kids are being cared for by Erica, and I'm free to do my stream. If you're interested in my setup, I will go ahead and link everything I use on here down below for you. But it's been so long since I actually used contact lens and today I'll be using TCDI. I will link the lens down below as well as here on camera if you're interested in getting the same product. Hey guys, so today, um, usually whenever I have time, I will do a get ready with me and it's usually a chit chat get ready with me where I answer a whole bunch of questions for my viewers. And I'm most active on Instagram just because I feel like there's more action going on there and um, that's why I choose to do a large live show on Instagram. Unfortunately, those live show are only available for 24 hours and a lot of them are not saved. So that's why I feel like I have more cushion to kind of just talk and just be myself versus on YouTube. We have a large audience and you guys ask a lot of questions and I feel like a lot of questions tend to fall through the crack and I do feel really bad that I can't answer everybody's question but I try to that and if I do it on um, Instagram then it's it's just easier for me to pull the clip from Instagram into my daily vlog versus YouTube. I mean, the clip is just so massive. It takes forever to download. It, look, it take, literally takes forever to look through, cut out parts. And I always just like butcher your username so badly. So yeah. Anyways, today is no different. I'm also going to be doing a get ready with me. And um, as well as I'll do a live show on Instagram. As well as I'll be doing a photo shoot. I'm not sure if I'm going to take Instagram people along with me on a photo shoot journey. But I definitely will be doing a photo shoot today, which I haven't done in forever. So let's get the show started. I'm gonna go ahead and log in. If you're a fit follower on Instagram, don't forget to come over, say hi. That'd be really cool. Hi everybody! So, let me see if I, oh no, we're going against the light, let's see if we can. Hi, Lin Huen, hello, uh, Jay Wen. How are you guys today? Happy Saturday. It's a decent day today, except it's really cold. And um, what I'm doing today is I'm actually I actually got so busy yesterday that I couldn't do my photo shoot today. I'll be doing my photo shoot, so I'm doing it live. Get ready with me. This way you kind of see the behind the scene on what I do. And we're gonna start out with contact lens because I actually need prescription contact in order for me to see. So a lot of time I miss your question on here mainly because I can't see it, and like I kind of squint and it just it makes me have um, wrinkles. So yeah. So the color, well I'm using TDI today, and the color I'm using is perfect, and I haven't worn contact in so long you guys, and I am recording this for YouTube so um, don't mind me if I look at another place. Mm -hmm. 
but that's how it looks so far. The color is pretty vibrant. I have really dark brown eyes then. Um, my state isn't yet on lockdown. I know that it's gonna happen in the next like two, three weeks because like, okay, so first the school went and then a lot of the stores went and now almost everything is closed and um, even Starbucks now, only the drive-thru are open, everything else, if, it's, if you use a walk-in store, it's done. Um, I know that they're slowly getting people to just buy a little bit more because they'll be I know that we'll be in a two-week lockdown sooner or later because everyone became like you know that way so it's only a matter of time I'm prepared so I really don't care at this point and to be very honest I think I live in a quarantine state at all times like my personal personally like I don't really go out very much I only go out when I get supplies or when I get our coffee and if not I'm always at home because I work from home since I was like 20 and so yeah it's not it's not new to me but yes hubby actually drove really far to grab me this drive through coffee I needed it it's one of those days when you just feel really down and I know I don't complain about my life much with you guys and I feel like that's kind of my fault but I just don't like to burden people with my own personal problem. I know a lot of people like to upplay their problem to have some drama, to get some empathy going. I just don't do well with people, you know, feeling sorry for me. I don't really go out or anything, so, you know. This is my life. Always in quarantine. Okay, so let's start with the skincare portion. Um, for the skin today, I have I already have the the witch hazel on, so I should do something thin. This is Glow Recipe by uh, this is the Waterman Glow Mist by Glow Mist Recipe. Just spray some on because it smells good. I love watermelon. look cute but nowhere to go so this is the watermelon glow pink juice moisturizer I'm almost done by the way I'm so sad every year I go through three of these that's how much I use it even when I have nowhere to go and I'm just at home I just put it on it feels nice it smells nice So yeah, we could definitely hang out um, if you guys aren't going to get bored because today I'm doing a photo shoot so unless you want to watch me like pose and attempt to look cute and how I transform different look in the same day yeah I don't mind taking you guys along but there'll be time when I have to actually work and I won't be able to reply to you guys and well you'll just have to stare at me work pretty much so now I'm going to let my uh, product just seep in so this one, it helped with hydrating and glowing radiance. That's why it's really nice and like shiny. And um, hydrating is really good because whenever the weather gets really cold, I have oily skin, but some, for some reason in the winter, my skin, or fall or winter, my skin become like so thirsty and dry and flaky and it's just, it's horrible. Yet in, the, yet in the spring and summer, my skin is just glowing and plump and perfect. And I, I don't understand why it does that. Maybe I'm just old and that's just what happens to your body when you're old but yeah I look for things that has uh, ceramide in it because it help you know keep your skin really nice and plump I like um, things that have uh, collagen in it those really help with the hydration um, so yeah there are certain face masks I prefer more than others so I'm gonna put this and this to the side because I've already used it Feels nice. Now we are about to do our eyebrows. Yeah, see that dress. Actually, I have a story with that. That dress I actually purchased because I wanted to wear something really like you know nice for Valentine. And for Valentine we had so many other plans, so we couldn't act. I couldn't wear that because uh, the for 
due to on the exact day of Valentine, we had so many like events to attend to. Um, and so I couldn't wear that to the certain first few event. And it just didn't make sense for me to change out to that event just for dinner. So I saved the dress. I'm like, okay, it's fine. I'll wear it for, the, for my birthday. We on care quarantine. And by the time my birthday roll around, you guys, I just feel like nobody about to go out and we're just stuck inside and so yeah maybe for my birthday i'll put it on i'll walk up and down the stairs to feel glamorous but um that's about it i <laughs> prior to this i thought about going to vegas with, with, with my sister for um april but obviously that didn't work that was supposed to be my vegas dress my vegas birthday dress but that didn't happen but that's okay i'm pretty sure i have another event to wear it to i don't know when but i will mainly because um I don't think we'll be able to get out of the house till end of April and by the end of April uh, we've already started trying to get pregnant so I guess if I don't show the first three months as much then maybe I can wear it but I would not want to be pregnant and wear that dress anyways even if it's the first three months mainly because one I feel sick two it's such a waste of the dress it's just so gorgeous that I don't want to wear it when I'm not tip-top condition of my life so that's the sad part if not, maybe I'll put it on and do a photo shoot today. I'll save it so I can look at it. So when I'm pregnant, I'll post it up in my throwback Thursday when I didn't look this plump. Maybe. I don't know yet. If you look at the detail on it, it's it's super faction. It's not done. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add more ostrich leather uh, feather to the back. I'm going to make it all, all the way around. And I'm going to also ask, add ostrich feather to the um, shoulder mainly because this is a this is the dupe of a Ralph and Russo the original dress is like six thousand dollar which I'm like I'm not about to pay six thousand dollars for that dress so I'm like hello dupe that's real ostrich so yeah so only thing different between this dress and the Ralph and Russo is he had um, the same feather on the on the shoulder so I could make a dupe if I choose to but I'm not gonna because I'm thinking about making it better by making making the feather go all the way around and even in the back of Ralph and Russo, um, his dress is not to be sat on. You can only wear it and stand, okay? This dress, you can sit on because the back is not fully beaded. It's just kind of like translucent. I might beat it myself. Like when I get bored, I'll just beat it myself and try to make it into like, I don't know, a dupe of it. But yeah, that was one of, it, one of my favorite creation of his. Zach Posen, have you seen the Cinderella dress that he created? That was also one of my favorite. Oh man, like certain designers, when he when they make a dress, I'm like, oh, this is gonna make them legendary. Like Herve uh, Leger, well, how he made um, you know the bandage dress and how it failed so many times and then it became great. Well, same thing. That one, <sighs> girl. I looked really good at it for Valentine too. I was really thin and it was perfect. And then Valentine came around and I was stressed and. I got this in January, when my body was really nice. It does stretch, but do I really want to look like all the threads are holding on to its dear life, trying to not bust out from the seam? No, not really. That's why she's standing there, mocking me. It's okay. Okay, so now we're doing my eyebrows. Um, I like to use the Goof Proof Brow Pencil. Again, let's see what it looks like. Okay, and the number is number five. I know they come out with six and 6.5 now too, which is crazy. But yeah, five was pretty dark even for me. I didn't think it was gonna need any darker. So I just kind of draw it on first. And I'll tell you why I don't really care for the A unless I'm using this camera. I think I showed you guys this trick already, but. So it's a crisscross thatch kind of thing that I'm doing. Just kind of filling it in and then brushing it down. And I do my eyebrow first because my eyebrow game is really weak. And uh, the last thing I need is to constantly cover up the concealer. <laughs> so that's why I'm like whatever I'm I suck at I do first this way I have some more room to like clean and like change my mind but don't want to go out anymore because I give up completely with my face mm -hmm. 
Hi, Miss um, Bamalik. Hello, Teresa Seal. Hello, Ye Yung Mok. Hello, uh, XO Laylee. XO, hello, Maria. Hello, Gloria Von Void. Welcome to the room. Oh no. show you the tip really really fast just let me mess up a little bit first like I said I am not the best person to ask about eyebrow tip because my eyebrow game as you can see is weak okay this is how it gets strong though so now that I have this on and I want to make my eyebrow even I kind of just clean it up so I can pretty much change this into whatever shape I feel like today. See it? Now it's no longer a curve. And that's why I my natural eyebrow shape, I can make it straight across, I can make it like you know, cut, like I can make it high arch if I choose to without even shaving off my eyebrow. So now if I want to make this thing a little longer, I just add in the tail. So yeah, I, I, I see Guru being more versatile by shaving literally this whole thing off and though so they have like a little bit of hair in the front, they don't care what's in the back. Me, I would like to look humanly beautiful without makeup on. I don't want to, there's, there's this new challenge where the boyfriend will put a mirror in front of the girlfriend and wake her up and when she see it, she, does she like jump? Man, I'm, it's mean but it's kind of funny, you know, like we do look like two different persons but we shouldn't look so ghostly that we're afraid of ourselves. it a little more just go back for fixed nobody gotta know that I'm bad at my eyebrows well everybody knows now but you know nobody really has to know like oh oh Shante you're so good at your makeup well oh, thank you thank you not really but thank you okay when I'm sure this is what I want then I go back and I color it in with this God, I, I just created myself more work, but okay, damn. There you go. You see that sharp line really quick? Drew it on. <laughs> I went all TikTok queen like, hello, look, my eyebrows good now. We're looking good. Okay. With no place to go, we're still looking good. So this is a good, ooh, actually, should I go downstairs and unbox it? I just bought this one palette. It's called Bebe, and apparently it's made of goat milk, 
um, from the mountain or something and it cost $98 for a cushion okay and it's it's apparently it's baby approved um, it it's healthy for you to wear when they have babies and when you have babies so I purchased it because I can and I haven't tried it out yet maybe I should try it out today mm. actually let's try Hera let's see it's hair good all right Hera today's my first day trying out Hera um, um, let me go downstairs and get it then. So this is the palette. This is Bebe, uh, the Mountain Goat UV Cushion. Unlike all of the other Korean um, BB cream palettes such as Hera, Gua, I mean, Gua, Laneige, Iope. I know I have another one down here. Oh yeah, okay, so another one made. Um, this one, see all of these, they come up in a glowy, it, it makes it look nice and exactly Gloria, why not? Cause you know, okay, no, the funny thing is, this is the funny thing. My husband has asked me to go hang out with his friends and because I know his friend and they're, we're all boys, uh, they've seen me ugly. I don't think any of his friends have seen me cute, like with some makeup on. That's how comfortable we get. To where sometimes, like when, the only time they see me cute is when they brought their wife or the girlfriend along. Because us, as female, we don't care what you boys think about us. We care what your boys' girlfriend think about us because she knows how much money or eyebrow and how long it took. She know why this cushion is life. Like, you know, she appreciate that we put in the time to look cute for her, not for you. Not for you, not for none of you, just for her, for all the other girls. We look cute for each other. We don't care what our boyfriend think about it because they don't even know anyway. So that's why I, I just don't care. Like, I will look cute and I will take selfie for myself. Just a document that, you know, I could look like this if I choose to. So this is the question that I'm using today. I'm actually quite excited. This is my first time trying this. Like I looked at it and I was like, okay, it's not clear to pew. It doesn't have the caviar in it. Like why is it costing so much? But apparently this cushion is matte. So unlike all of these I have that we usually use Korean version um, or even the American version, it's not like that wet, um, shiny look. It's matte. So I'm going to see how matte it is. So um, cushion wise, I think it looks pretty cute. I mean... Nothing special to be honest. The bee kind of like a heart, you know, but sure. Just the fact that you can wear this while pregnant and wear this if you have a, oh, okay, okay. When you have a young baby because it's not going to harm the baby, that is a nice um, sell. This is the cutest little cushion. Look at this. It is not the base. You can tell it's not the same. Like the feeling here. All the feeling are different. Like this one, this one, I hope it's different too. I hope it's more like clear. Um, the cushion does feel different. And it does have like this nice arch and slant line for you to get a more closer hit, I guess. I don't know. Remove the sticker for use. Close the compact tightly after use. Okay, here we go. All right, so this is what the inside look like, you guys. All right, here we go. Should I put on? Nah. You gotta think about this. Should I put on primer? No, I'm not putting on primer. Okay. Let's see why you cost $98. Let's see how long you would last for you to... Oh, okay. It smells rosy. Very rosy. Here we go. 21 is my color um, for all of the Korean compact. So I'm hoping it's the same color. Alright, okay. I see you. I see you. You is kind of white on my skin though. Are you gonna like change color or something, bro? 
Okay, let me take out this film so I can actually use the mirror in here. This camera is a little bit clear. Okay, it does feel wet on. But it definitely matte down quick. I want to see how unshiny it gets. It really does smell like, like milk mixed with flour. Well, today I was going to try Hera out because I haven't tried Hera yet. But um, you guys want me to try Bebe, so I'm going to try Bebe. Okay, I'm going to tell you now this whole little sharp cut for you to cut your crease and your eyebrows. Pretty clever. Question matter. Um, one of the things I also like hate about makeup is sometimes it just doesn't feel nice on. And this one does feel nice on. I'm definitely not a powder or foundation girl. That's why I stick to CC whatever cushion now. Or anything that feels like tinted moisturizer. That's a, that's a, you know, as much coverage as I'm looking for. Uh, coverage wise, you need up to three pat to cover. Um, it definitely have a smell to it. Like not a bad smell, but there's actually, there's definitely a smell. So the first look I'm doing a bedroom look. So it's so the look I'm looking for obviously is the cold clear skin and a uh, little to no makeup look. And whenever I'm doing a photo shoot, especially when I'm doing multiple photo shoot, I like to kind of change my makeup up a little bit at a time. So the first look that we're gonna do um, is going to be like kind of like a boyish at home look. Like I'm trying to look like I don't care how I look, but I do which i'll show you this is like whenever i have a day off and i can actually take photos i take like multiple type of photo shoot and i arrange the date like the timing i'm like from this time to this time i'll pose with this and this from this time to this time i'll pose with this and this and days before even taking photo shoot i have to do my research on how to pose what outfit do i want to bring uh bring up I know that this light is right here so it's, it has some flash so in my camera it looks like it's a little bit lighter than my face but real life oh no real life is a little bit lighter than my face I'm gonna have to go with 23 so this color it's inconsistent all of these are 21 and they match my skin perfectly this is 21 and it's a layer too light so if you are I'm pretty light and I'm using um, 21 for everyone else. I know that for the cream it's the 15, 21, 23, right? I'm at 21. For this, that's supposed to be Korean also because it's made in Korea, it's not. It's definitely not the right color. Like, not right, right. Once I contour and whatever, it's going to be fine, but. What if there are days when I don't want to contour and just want to walk out? This is not something you can walk out of the house in with one layer. But I do love the fact that it's matted. It is matted. Because if it's not matted, this is Gua. Inside, obviously, it's, it's just, it's not as like posh as the baby, but it cover well. And look. It has that glow to it right away.
So you can see it shines versus no shine down here. So it definitely is true that it's, it is matted. Second test, I did not put it here. So with all of this, one of the biggest problem is the makeup move. So once you um, cover, pa, 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 pa. once you wear sunglasses, it dents and it moves. And so that's why one of the one of my fans actually told me if I put um, primer in my nose area right here, like the the uh, the what is that the eyeshadow primer right here, it will help with it moving. But do you really want something that doesn't? Um. I actually replace it and honestly when you this is a one and done okay I know a lot of cream like to repack this on their face throughout the day they like that dewy look but I don't because my skin is always clean when I put it on I don't replace this till the whole thing is out because most of these like even baby it has a replacing cushion so depending on how many days you wear this and how often you wear this it does run out and when it does come out the other one also have a new cushion in there another thing you can do is buy cushions these are those plush little plump cushion that you can always use because I don't mind sharing my makeup with my friends but they have to use their own cushion I don't even let them dip their own brush into my stuff so I used to do makeup um, I used to be a makeup artist and so I always have a lot of brushes extra I always have a lot of these extra I don't believe in the whole constantly spraying your freaking brush and reusing the brush on another client I literally have a new set for every client or I'll ask the client to bring it and or I'll wash it their own brush the night before or I'll spray all whatever I need out or I'll break a, a piece out from like the pad or something because you can really just use a spoon and scoop and you can still apply it on you know and repuff and do all that so I'm, I, I see how the Sephora girls does it and that's why I don't get my makeup done by people I'm kind of you know kind of anal about it I don't like to share my makeup like the actual product with people so yeah no matter how close I am because like I um I started having facial warts from that one good friend. It runs in her family. Her mom has facial wart, uses her brush, gave her facial wart. That freaking brush she decided to dip into my powder. I ended up, when I used it, I started having facial wart and it's just like a skin uh, bump that started jumping all over the place. And the only way to get it out is if you laser it off. And even then you have to do it multiple times. And I, right now, you know, I don't have time to constantly go back to Korea and like get my skin like, you know, done well. So that is something that I, I'm never going to fear for for. Like, honestly, no. That's disgusting. <sighs> um, that and it's expensive and it's painful, but I... Uh, once I'm done having babies, girl, I'm going back to Korea. I'm getting my skin treated. I'm going to stay there for like a month if I have to. I want it all gone. I want to have no facial pores. Like I want to look like glass skin. Oof. I'm definitely going to get my mommy makeover due in Korea anyway, so it doesn't matter. So I'm going to do lipo, tummy tuck, breast augmentation or re-augmentation. Since I'm doing all that, I might just stay there for a month. So yeah. By then, by the time I'm like my fourth kid turned one, I would have like two nannies and um, my mom would be staying there for a month. Exactly. She just have to watch the kid, the nanny would do the cleaning, the cooking, all of that. All right, my husband and I already put time aside, I guess, with pre planned for these things because we have such a tight schedule, but that is not negotiable and he knows that with me. He knows that he cannot push it with me. Looking good has nothing to do for my husband, for any other man, it's for me. And that's why I want to push this whole self-care thing. Today's a makeup playing day. And if you guys enjoy like just hanging out together and like trying out new makeup, don't forget to push the like button, share this video, get more people interested. This is Boxy Charm. Wow, that is cute. Okay, all right, all right. This is BoxyCharm's palette. It came with the uh, Lux box this, this month. Um, I'll show you, it's the big box. So it looks like this. I'll, I'll release a video of the unboxing really soon, but this is, what, this is what, what was inside. This was inside. This was inside the Becca. There's like two other piece. I think it's still in that box. But these were the ones I wanted to try out today. That's why I took it out. This is the body wash infused buffer. 
So um, it's I I used some before. Like um, it looks kind of like this, and you don't need to you. It, it's in different shape, obviously. There's some that take away your cellulite. There's you just pretty much. This is soap inside of a sponge. And it feels really, really nice. So you run underwater and you just scrub in your body. So instead, instead of having a towel and wrapping on the soap and do all the cleaning, this is a two-in-one. And I love this. I actually put this, include this in um, my giveaway because that was my favorite thing post-pregnancy um, to use. This is the Body Wash Infused Butter by Spongel Bunch Lavender. I have a huge box that I'm giving away. And in that huge box, I have the one that took care of cellulite. And so, um, in the few next few giveaways that I'm doing for Instagram and YouTube, is starting April, my birth my birthday month. I'm doing a lot of giveaway. But this is how their um, palette look. Thank you, Risha. Um, yes, my sister would go with me. They go over there all the time and just like relax. So it's a great place for food and service is amazing. The club is popping, but I'm there just to relax. The color that I should use today is going to be Sneak Peek. Sneak Peek is this golden, ah, this golden, um, bronze color um like i said i'm starting out with the bedroom look and for the bedroom look you want to go with little to no makeup so i'm looking for kind of a glow in my eyelid but i want to focus more on the um lashes because now that i have contact on if i want to, if i do too much for my eyes it take away the eyelid and making it look smaller so a lot of time when I draw my eyeliner too big, you guys don't notice how big my actual eyelids are, but my natural eyelids are huge. <laughs> and so that's why I think like people had accused me of getting my eyelid done prior to going to Korea to get it fixed. Um, no, I naturally have big double eyelid. And then I have ptosis and my ptosis came back. So my eyes, once again, one eye is bigger than the other because the muscle in one eye is deteriorated again. So I do have to get ptosis correction again in Korea. So th there's so much I have to like fix. And ptosis is pretty much because your, um, your muscle for your eyelid is so weak, it can't open and close properly. So you're using your forehead muscle in order to just open and close your eye. So yeah, and it causes wrinkle, and that's why I squint and have all these lines prior to being old. So definitely have to do ptosis correction in one of my um, treatment. Let's try sneak peek out. Oh, she is. Oh, okay, she is a bronzy god. Okay, that's a good payout. Um, maybe I should do swipe up instead then. Hmm. Now I don't want to touch everything. Dude, now I want to touch everything. It's because this is a really pretty color. Alright, alright. It's all about you have to do things in the right order. But you want to get a lot of things done. And I should use a primer for my eye, but because I'm going to be changing my eye makeup after, you know, every 30 minutes. So it looks like I have brand new makeup on every time. I'm not going to. And I will compliment Bebe of the fact that it is very matte. So I do hope that it also control my um, oil production. That would really impress me and make me give it a chance. Like I wouldn't mind using it for my overall color and I'll just add a, a concealer on top. Um, this way it can cover a little more or I'll use like the glossier um, cushion under my eye and all of my, you know, um, dry skin area and I'll use the baby and all of my like oily skin area. Okay, so now that I did that for the lid, because that's all that matter anyways, I'm going to blend it out. Wow. 
But next week photo shoot is the one I'm most looking forward to because that's my star shoot. So that's the one I'm most excited about. And prior to all these shoot, I have to like plan my schedule so much in order just to fit it in. And so I'm choosing this shoot because it's easiest to do bedroom shoot. When you haven't posed and um, done photography in a while, this is a good beginner like to get yourself interest, uh, into this whole thing again. So usually if I'm not on live show right now, I would be listening to like empowering woman music by Shayna Twain or like uh, Carrie, uh, the, what is that song? The Pretty Girl Rock? Yeah. Those are songs that put me in the mood to feel sexy. Do the pretty girl rock, 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 do the pretty girl rock, rock. Yeah, like this really remind me of um, this particular color that I really love from um, Ace Beauty. So Ace Beauty came up with the Ice Latte and the effect of the ice latte looks a lot like the sneak peek. It's a little bit darker, it seems like, but it definitely has the same effect as sneak peek. So I'm excited to play with this um, BoxyCharms palette. I'm, I really hope BoxyCharm does come out with more stuff of their own. Because I am impressed with this one so far. Okay, so now, um, with this look, I want to do a, a light liner, which is not this one, unfortunately. And for my eyeliner, I'm using the Fenty Beauty. Unfortunately, this, it, this um, eyeliner does smudge. This color, I forgot, it's called Cause I'm Black. Mmm. So now that you know we're all stuck inside, I'm gonna need to use better music just to help you get done with housework in a more breeze manner. Okay, so when I'm doing a bedroom eyes and I wanna focus on the fact that I have wide lids so it's more doughy, um, I only do my eyeliner from the middle part to the back. I leave the front alone. It makes it look more natural this way. Deep talk are not meant for mornings. Let's do deep talk later on tonight. Uh, it's kind of too early for deep talk. I don't want to get all emotional before my photo shoot. What is the most, what is my favorite lesson that my mom has ever taught me? Uh, make your own money, then no one has any right to tell you how to spend it. don't sit around and wait for anybody to do anything for me if I want something I was going to give it to myself because if I depend on anybody else I will always be disappointed which is true even to this very day I mean if I'm I feel like most of my fights with my significant other is because he disappoint me because when I need him to do something he didn't do it right away and me who never asked for any favor or never ask for anything out of him and you know when I need him to do something I needed it then and there not in his own free time you know but I feel like you know don't tell me this is for anybody not just my husband but this is for anybody don't um, pitch yourself when you're happy don't make false promises saying you're gonna be there for somebody or you're gonna do something for somebody or they're, they're your priority and yet they're only your priority when it's convenience for you and so I don't really listen to pretty words anymore and it's weird I mean I don't know like a lot of girls like to be lip service but that's not me so when a person tell me like oh um I'm gonna do this for you I'm gonna do that for you I'm like why don't you do it and let me just thank you when I notice it because if you need to tell me what you've done for me you haven't done enough And nothing annoys me more than someone who needs to be recognized for things that they do. 
So yeah. I just do it myself. So <sighs> my mother honestly told me that my action is the action of a stupid woman because a smart woman would sit there and let other people do everything for her, which is very true. But I am someone who do not like being weak. I don't like putting my livelihood in anyone else's hand. And the last thing that I like the last thing that I'm gonna do is người ta gọi rằng là nhìn mặt để sống, hiểu không? And this is about the kind of deep. But nhìn mặt để sống là những người đồng bà mà like ở nhà không đi làm mà phải xòe tay ra xin tiền của chồng cái, cái chuyện đó gọi là không thể nào với thư rồi tại vì thư là người mà thấy rất là xài nhìn thư muốn cái gì thư muốn cái đó thư muốn làm thì thư làm cái đó thư muốn đi đâu thì đi đâu And tại vì thư là người mà không thích ngồi đó mà đợi người ta phải vui để mà mình hỏi nhưng thư sẽ không bao giờ cần xài tiền người khác so <cười> See, it's so much easier, like, you know, when you have two language and you have to, like, certain language is more deep because of certain word you use versus, like, when you translate to English, then some of the deepness and, this, and the, the, the word play that you're using, it just doesn't make that hit that you're like, looking for. Um, this is why I don't want to talk right now because my brain's not working yet. I'm just trying to do my makeup, wing this eyeliner so it looks the same on both sides so I can continue doing my work. So if there's another Vietnamese person in the room, please translate what I just said. It's too late for me, you guys. I'm gonna have to go toward the front. I know. Because I started having real talk, now the eyeliner got too thick, now I'm gonna have to do the front part. Fuck! Oh god! So along with my eyebrow game being weak, so is my eyeliner game. Weak! I'm sorry. It happens, you know? Oy. Well, since... We about that. Okay, don't get this one I'm using. This is the Vinyl Liquid Liner by NYX. I got this one on accident. Okay, the one that I usually do, um, it's out. It's, uh, yeah, it's out now. That's why I use this. This thing bleeds so badly. So every time I wear this, I get mad. Oh, no, boo, it's not your fault. It's me, you know? I'm not really that good at makeup, so, you know, it's going to happen. All right, so back to the charm box. Since we already got this on, we're just gonna go with it. Okay, so we're gonna use the word, the color exclusive because it's kind of brown, so you know, it's not a dress up, but it's still dress up. So go ahead and highlight that in the bottom. Dude, that's a nice color. That could be a really nice color for even like um, the eyeliner on top whenever like I'm trying to have a shadow. Not bad. All right, so I'm gonna have. There and there's so many companies that advertise that their liquid liner is 24 hours. That is a lie. What is this? Koki. Ah, <gasps> Koki. I hope Koki work. And Koki is dry. <sighs> See, like I haven't used that eyeliner yet. I bought it and put it into the drawer, and then now it's dry. And that's what I'm saying. I mean, it's so inconsistent. I'm gonna need somebody to step up their eyeliner production game and like sell me a product that I just L O V E. If not, I'm gonna have to go back to this gel um, eyeliner where I'm drawing on a thick eyeliner. I have a lot of eyeliner. The only problem is when I go to places, I put certain makeup that I use that day into that box. And then I don't remember. And then Kate also have this thing where she goes through my makeup and she hides it like a puppy. Okay, 18 seconds uh, remaining. I'm going to end it and share it. Skin is looking pretty flawless. I'll tell you that. Alright, so now I'm going to put on uh, the Maybelline The Falsy Volume Express. Uh, my mom actually recommended this to me and that's why I'm using it now. She said that it makes your eyelashes look really, really good. So I'm going to add it on just to make the bottom lash match with my falsy that I'll be using. So let's take a little poll, okay? How many guys are actually locked inside to where you can do all day vlogs? 
And like, if I put out my time on it, <laughs> who would actually watch me all day? And if yes, should I do YouTube, Instagram, or you now, or should I just like split the time up in between? How many of you guys are still working? Thank you. I did some work on my eyebrow. Actually, should I contour? Yeah, I'm gonna contour. I'm liking this. My bedroom eyes. Mm. Should I add some diamond? I could. I could add like two diamond here. Mm, would that be too? I could focus on my eyes, I guess. Hmm. Can I think about this? And you guys, I will give Bebe high score because. It's matted. It's a nice matte that doesn't get shine. It cover now. It does take time to seep into your skin. I think that's why. All right, baby. Look like I'm gonna have to buy another one for including to my giveaway. But you guys, for real, I love freaking boxy charm. I'm so addicted with them. It's been so bang of the buck. I'm loving everything that they've recommended me. They're brands I would never have tried, but since this one, it was in the box, I tried it and I just love it. Like, more people need to try Box Charm. More. <sighs> okay. So this is the Anastasia Contour Cream Palette. It is fair. And um, the, the reason why I like this palette is even the darkest color, as you can see, I use it. I use every single thing in, on this palette, which is possibly weird because that never happened yet. It does in this one. So yeah. So for this, I'm going to use the darkest shade. Same thing up here, I just come here, down. Because the dark spot should still be where the hair line is. So it's just the color right above it. I think my face shape is square, not hard, square. I tried to draw a heart on my face to make it more smaller. The shape that I contour my face to look like is a heart, but my face is definitely a square. I'm more chisel. See? I'm more chisel. My face was a heart prior to being pregnant and gaining all this weight. So I kind of remember how I usually do my makeup. Hi, Ariel. <laughs> I use the same thing I use every time, huh? The first live show um, once this one and well, I think the first live show that I did on here already have that eyebrow tutorial. But I, oh, blah, 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 what did you do? What did you do, Shantae? No, nothing, nothing, not a dang thing. All right, here we go. I don't know. Maybe I'm not great at contouring. <laughs> That's why it still looks mean. The best thing that shapes shift a woman, eyelashes, and that's why that goes last.
If I start out with super thick, I would have to do thick liner, and then that means I had to take my makeup off. I want to start building on to my makeup. So the whole point is to look natural first, and then slowly build on. Hello, ass kisser sister. I love you. Um, yes, I'm doing multiple um, things for my birthday. I'm doing uh, the door shoots because I'm extra as hell and we're stuck inside, so I'm about to perfect my photography skill again. By the way, you guys, I used to have really good photo because my photographer is Telia. And then my photography was kind of okay because I'm more of a model, not the photographer. So yeah, that's why my uh, Instagram went down and died because I didn't have Kelly around anymore. Oh, when I'm talking to you guys, a long time. When I'm doing it by myself, 30 minutes. When it's work, 10 minutes, including brushing my teeth and washing my face. my sister all of our sisters are actually close to one another um there's none that I'm more close to like they're different relationship I think that's what you're asking right so me and Talia were like best friend we're like yin and yang that's how I could see it like when she's crazy I'm calm when I'm calm uh, when I'm crazy she calm so let's say somebody offend the hell out of me. Well, I'll be the person that goes, you ready to sh grab that shovel? We, we about to kill somebody. You dig. And she'd be like, all right, let's go. When she, you know, is in her zone and she want to kill somebody, I'm like, okay, let's calm down. Let me think about who I know first and where can we bury the body. You, you know what I mean? Like, we calm each other down. And no matter how bad things get, like, if me and her are both in jail, we would probably look at each other and laugh I'm like this. You want to do this again? Or did you learn your lesson? We probably like, nah, let's do this shit again. So all of my super crazy good memory is with her. Lily is my um, responsible, I guess, sister. I mean, she's learning to be more like me, and I, I appreciate that. But, you know, she she's a little bit different than me and Talia. Me and Lily relationship is more like my mother and I relationship. We cover each each other's essential she comes to me whenever she needs something um i don't really confide in lily as much as i do with tilia um with me and erica it's kind of like a mother-daughter relationship because i did raise her when she's small i kind of raise all of them but you know erica more than anybody else so i have more um you know how it's your kid you kind of have uh you cut them more breaks so that's kind of me and Erica relationship and uh, no matter what I do toward Erica like I can kind of blow up and like go crazy toward Erica Erica would not stay mad at me for very long versus she could stay mad at like let's say her other sister for pretty long me and Stephanie relationship because of like we're like freaking 15 16 years apart um, it's not that we're not close it's just I see her more as a baby so if she like oh I need money for this or I need you to help me with that I would do it because she's young but I don't treat her like my sister, I treat her more like my kids, if you know what I mean. I mean, if Erica is like a year older than Stephanie, I treat her like a kid, so Stephanie is no different. So I don't confide in Stephanie per se, I just kind of see myself as a provider for her. Um, it's it, Partial, I think it is because of the huge age gap. And that is why I plan on having kids back to back, just so the kids would have more they'll be more close to one another 
And to be very honest, when I'm with Tilia or Lily, I don't really need friends because we're all funny and we can entertain each other just well. I mean, when we're with each other, we're always laughing. You know, we're always laughing. And we say the darnest thing and I'm always so entertained by them, you know, that we don't really need friends. And we've been backstabbed so many times and used so many times and girls just don't naturally like us because we're tomboys. Like, we know our shit, we don't get insecure and that annoy people that we don't get insecure with who we are. And like, we don't, we're like a unicorn to them because we don't envy them, we actually wish them well and it makes them feel shitty that they don't do the same. So, I think being with us and how genuine we are as friends, it brings out how shitty they are as human beings. So, they themselves just kind of disappear from our life. And we're like, okay, cool, whatever. And we have each other. And ultimately, each other is the best because all of us have our own money, okay? We never have to, like, pretend to downplay and we never have to, like... <sighs> choose the shittier thing just so other people can afford it just so it's like you know it, we all work super hard for our money okay so when we go to a restaurant we want to order everything we want to drink everything we want to try everything but those that hang out with us cannot follow suit and it's not like we're trying to make them feel bad it's just like we don't go out lily work a lot tilia work a lot we, and i fucking work like i'm a slave so when i do go out when we on anybody's well, we want to blow money we want to go crazy we want to feel comfortable and it's only easiest when we're with one another because then that's why we never go shopping with one another because then lily's like oh this is so cute i want it but i want someone to have it and i'm like all right bitch i'll get one if you get one it's the same we just have to twin each other and then if me have it and Lily have it, I tell her like, should I get one too? What other color does it come in? So we always do shit like that. So it's not that <laughs> we share each other clothes because we definitely are all different size, but we and we have a different color because that is just the case. But growing up though, we literally like even if we hide what we bought from one another, we end up choosing the same shit because we have the same style, which is like crazy. And um. Yeah, we changed a lot since we grew up, but style-wise, like, Tilia is still that, you know, I'm a, tr I'm a trendsetter, she will mix colors, she will just go cray-cray, I mean, she is very explorative, Lily's very frilly still, like, she tried to go posh and, like, designer and, like, you know, tip-top condition and, like, mint, healthy couture like me, but then she go back to her girly roots, like, she's naturally a girly bohemian girl. Like, she can, she can rock the bandage and all whatever, but she liked this fluffy, colorful, pattern, girly look. I like the over-the-top look, like, oh, it has to be fully bedazzled. If another girl's gonna wear it, I don't want it. So it's like we all have our different thing. Well, Tilly is like this. Today, I'm gonna look a boy. Tomorrow, I'm gonna look Russian. The third day, I'm gonna look Polish. She just, she's all over the place. She just wants to try everything out. Even once. She wants to try it once. So... It's nice having sisters. The, those are experiences that we're never gonna get with having brothers. For my cheeks, I'm using Orgasm. So no, I wouldn't change my, I wouldn't trade my sister for the world. I think my mother have done a very amazing job giving me all <laughs> this work. Lily, just why don't you just keep him to pay for your shit? Why do you have, why does he need any position? Why is it okay for a guy to uh, get all the benefit and not have any responsibility and it's not okay for the girls to do the same when that was exactly how it was? If he wants to have you, then he should splurge you because it takes money to keep a woman, you know? This palette's not cheap. It's like $80, okay? Every time you go to see that boy, your, your mascara is like $40, your lipstick's like $40, your, corn can, your contour kit's like $80, your foundation's like $120, your eyebrows is like, that stick was like, what, $36, and then your primer, your top spray, your glitter, your eyeliner. Girl, you spend like $400 on your face just whenever you see him, so yeah, he, need, he needs to stop paying. You guys are just being too easy in these little boys. If they can't afford you now, they can't afford you in the long run. Why you want to marry that broke ass anyway? You can finance yourself. Who do you think put all that makeup in your face? Girl, you. Get out of here with that weak shit thinking you're going to keep his eyes around. Yeah, he can be around. He can't even be aside nothing. 
He is a walking pocketbook. Okay. Okay. My my kids going crazy. So what that means is they sleepy and they're about to take over this room. Uh, I'm about to end this show just so I can put them to bed so I can do my own thing. I do, Jamie. To be very honest, I'm overwhelmed. Okay, um, this past two weeks has been hell. I cry myself once a day, average. I lose my shit in the privacy of the guest room in a pillow. And then I pull my shit together and now I have to fucking handle it again. Because this is what it takes to be me. So, I gotta go. I'll talk to you in a little bit. Bye. Empty cuts. <laughs> Pictures, I jumped down and I checked the pictures myself. Let's see if I got the one. just because of placement. Oh my gosh, you guys, today photo shoot so far in the kitchen has been a success. I got some bomb photos from my phone straight up. Um, yeah, I, I'm really liking this phone taking picture. I use the remote control, I'm trying to take off my shoes, sorry, one second. Ah, I've been on it the whole time. Oh. Alright, alright, here we go. Ah, here we go. So straight up right now, I'm trying out this one new thing where I'm just recording with my phone or taking picture with my phone. And hold on. So these are the shots that I got on the sink. And I don't know why it's doing this live motion thing. But yeah, it's, it's kind of weird. But it's definitely a photo. But if it's a photo, then it does this motion thing before and after. So yeah, I definitely got my shot for the Easter theme, but yeah, this is literally what I go through. It's a lot of like 
trial and error and it really depends on the light. When I take picture, I heavily depend on like good lighting and uh, because I'm lazy and I don't want to Photoshop in pictures. So that and I have this thing where like I rather Photoshop myself so where I look like myself rather than looking too pretty or too good or too unreal and then in real life people don't think you look as good. That to me is kind of embarrassing so when I edit my photo I focus more on the color versus the pose and everything else I just leave alone. So this is what you're seeing in the phone, right? So hopefully it's really high quality because I'm going to contrast the hell out of this and get all creative with it.